We have a 20 microfarad capacitor initially connected to a potential difference of 800 volts and the capacitor is charged. After the capacitor is fully charged, we disconnect it from the source of potential difference and we reconnect it to another capacitor of 10 microfarad. The 10 microfarad capacitor is initially uncharged. Now when the two capacitors are connected, the charge that was initially on the 20 microfarad capacitor will be redistributed between the two capacitors and that will also change the potential difference across the terminals of our uh, first capacitor and also the energy will be redistributed. Now how, uh, let's calculate how that works. So first thing first, we're going to calculate uh, the total charge stored in the 20 microfarad capacitor originally when it was connected to the potential difference. So I have labeled the two capacitance values as C1 and C2. C1 is a 20 microfarad one and I'm going to call the original total charge stored in C1 uh, as Q0. So Q0 is the charge accumulated on the first capacitor when it was connected to the source of potential difference. Q0 equals C1 times V. Uh, after substituting the numerical values, we get Q0 equals 1.6 times 10 to the negative second Coulomb. Now, the next thing we want to calculate is what is the potential difference across each capacitor after the capacitors are connected? Uh, now, the answer is whatever that those values, they're equal. So if you take a look at these two capacitors now, they're connected in parallel. They're in between the same two uh, potential points, same two terminal points. So they have the same potential difference. But we don't know how the charge is redistributed among the two capacitors. So first we're going to find that out. And then we're going to use that information to calculate the new potential difference. Let's start by stating that V1 is equal to V2. Now, using the capacitance definition formula, uh, we can substitute V equals uh, Q divided by C for each uh, potential value. Right? So, so then V1 is the same thing as uh, Q1 divided by C1, whatever that Q1 is, that's the new charge on the first capacitor. That's going to be equal to Q2, charge on the second capacitor, divided by C2. Now this equation has two unknowns. We can't really solve it yet. But at least we can use it to find the relationship between Q1 and Q2 because we know the values for each capacitance. So rearranging my equation and isolating Q1, I get Q1 equals Q2 times C1 divided by C2. So let's calculate that ratio. C1 divided by C2 just brings up a factor of 2. So we get Q1 equals 2 times Q2. Now we have two unknowns, we need another equation. And remember, we also know that Q1 and Q2 should add up to the original charge, which is Q0. So Q1 plus Q2 is equal to Q0, which we already calculated. Substituting 2 times Q2 for Q1, we get 2 times Q2 plus Q2 equals Q0. So let's go ahead and solve for Q2. Q2 equals Q0 divided by 3, and when we substitute the numerical values, we get Q2 equals 5.33 times 10 to the negative third Coulomb. Now that we know Q2 and we already know C2, we can calculate the potential difference across the second capacitor, which is the same as the potential difference across the first capacitor. So we can find V2 by dividing Q2 by C2 we get 533 volts. Uh, you can alternatively calculate Q1 and do Q1 divided by C1 and you should get the same answer because V1 and V2 are equal. 
Next, let's take a look at the energy. What is the final energy of the system? So that will be the energy stored in C1 plus the energy stored in C2. Let's go ahead and calculate that. I'm using the energy formula 1 half CV squared. Note that for capacitance values, I have C1 and C2 labeled separately. But for voltage, I'm just using V2 because V1 and V2 are the same. So in the next one, I'm going to factor out that V2 squared and then plug in the numerical values. So the total potential energy in our system when the two capacitors are connected is equal to 4.26 joules. Now, how did the energy change when the first capacitor was disconnected from the source of potential difference and connected to the second capacitor? Let's calculate the energy that was stored in the first capacitor originally and compare with this value. Let's call the initial potential energy U0, and U0 is equal to 1 half C1 V squared, V being the 800 volts of potential difference that was applied initially. And here's the numerical result for the initial potential energy, 6.40 joules. Now, when you subtract the final potential energy from the initial one, you'll see a decrease of 2.14 joules. Why is there a decrease in potential energy? Well, because when the first capacitor was disconnected and reconnected to the second capacitor, the uh, charge was redistributed, so the electric charges uh, have moved and the system lost potential energy due to the motion of those charges. So that energy was lost as thermal energy.